As game designers, understanding what a game is can help us design better games. In his book, The Art of Game Design, Jesse Shell goes on a bit of a rant about definitions. And I think it's safe to call it that, since it's in a section called A Rant About Definitions. In the end, he concludes that definitions aren't that important, but the process of trying to define something can help give you a better understanding of it. We obviously want to design good games, so let's try to define what a game is and see how that can help us. Before we get started with that, if you're interested, be sure to check the description for an affiliate link to the book. If you choose to buy a copy, you'll be helping out my channel with no extra cost to you. In order to define what a game is, I want to start by looking at things like books and movies, since they have some useful similarities, but also some important differences. Books, movies, and games are all intended to provide an experience to the audience. So let's start by saying a game is an experience. There's a chapter in the art of game design called The Designer Creates an Experience. This chapter gets us to stop thinking so much about designing games and start focusing more on designing experiences for our players. If we want to design an experience rather than a game, maybe we should try to define what an experience is instead. This can be a bit tricky since an experience isn't something tangible or really something you do. It's more of a byproduct of doing something else. That does give us some useful insight though. It tells us that the events that cause an experience aren't the experience itself, but they create the experience. I would say that the experience is just the thoughts and feelings you have in response to the events. Or, as Jesse Sell says, the experience is in the player's mind. This tells us that the game isn't actually the experience, instead the game is a series of events that produce thoughts and feelings within the player's mind. So, we can change our definition to say a game is a series of events that provides the audience with an experience. We can refine this a bit further to exclude other forms of media like movies. And the most obvious difference between games and movies and books is that games are interactive. So let's change our definition a bit more. Now we can say that a game is a series of interactive events that enable an experience. This is where it starts to get tricky, because allowing players to interact with the experience we design is a bit of a double-edged sword. Players like to have choices, or at least to think that they have choices, but those choices mean that they can alter the experience. If you want to give your players a prescribed experience, you may need to take away some of the choices, or make it so the choices don't actually matter in the end. But that can make the players feel powerless, and not to mention making the player feel powerless is an experience in itself, and it may detract from the experience you want to provide. All of this is to say you'll need to put a lot of thought into the experience and how much freedom you're willing to give to the players to shape it with their decisions. Since the experience takes place in the player's mind, we need people to play our game. Obviously we want people to play our games that we spend so much time creating, but to get people to play them, your game needs to be interesting, and to get them to keep playing, it needs to be compelling. This just means your game needs to be interesting and entertaining. So let's revise our definition one more time to say a game is a series of entertaining, interactive events that enable an experience that interests the player. I would say what we're looking at now is more like a definition of a good game, but I don't think anybody's really interested in making bad games, so I don't see a problem with that. If you can design an entertaining and compelling experience, you'll draw on an audience, but that's a lot easier said than done. It can be difficult, and it takes time to design a good game, and that's even more true if you want to make a game that continues to be fun and entertaining for a long time. There's a lot to consider to make a fun and compelling game, so I want to cover it in a separate video, or maybe even multiple. Jesse Shell covers a lot of it in The Art of Game Design, so be sure to check the description for a link to the book. I definitely want to talk more about what makes a game interesting and fun, so watch out for the next video in the series. These videos take a lot of time and effort to make, so if you want to help support me, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. If you want to support me more directly, check the description for ways to do that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.